<clears throat> Hello, this is Harry Watt at North Carolina State University Wood Products Extension. This is the National Firewood Workshop. We're on Zoom this year for 2021. Uh, we're hosted by the Tennessee Division of Forestry. And we also have as our media sponsor, Sawmill Magazine of Maine. We have cooperating groups like the Virginia and North Carolina Division of Forestry and North Carolina Forest Service. I'm a wood product specialist with the Cooperative Extension Service. This discussion is going to be involving the box wedge splitters and cutting tables. And what we're looking at here is a firewood business based on the splitter and perhaps uses a cutting table to try to solve the vertical movement of blocks that get cut with a chainsaw have to be picked up and then put into the splitter. So we're looking for a better way. So I'm gonna share my screen and we're going to look at um, this discussion of box wedge splitters and cutting tables. And it's something that uh, not everybody is familiar with. Uh, here in the firewood industry. Uh, we will move forward. Just a, a notice here that uh, these are the standard notices by North Carolina State University, USDC, Forest Service, and the Wood Education Center. We are uh, supported financially by the Wood Education Center, Princeton, West Virginia. Our grant number is the, the number there, 19-DG. Uh, if anyone has any complaints, concerns about uh, our behavior here on the workshop and anything we do, you can certainly uh, contact the Wood Education Center of Princeton, West Virginia, the U.S. Forest Service, Department of Agriculture, Washington, D.C., or North Carolina State University Extension in Raleigh. Uh, box wedges is something not everybody's familiar with. Uh, the photo in the bottom is a trio of wedges that the Woodmiser company has available in their system of uh, box wedges. But the whole idea is that you have a single set of wedges and the distance apart from them and the distance high determines what you get out. And these kind of box splitters, the piece of wood is put on the, from the log is cut into blocks, where it might be 16, 24 inches, whatever, 20 and the ram cycles through going towards this, towards this wedge. And if you look at the wedge, you notice that it's not straight across the front and it's kind of set back with the middle dividers there. And the whole purpose is that is that block of wood doesn't hit every piece of that wedge initially. It starts to split, open up, and it takes less horsepower to push the wood through. In this uh, photo, the Three-way wedge has got three chambers, four wedge has got four, and five's got five. And that's about what you're going to get with a common uh, box splitter on the market today. It works really well for rectangular splits for bundles and cooking wood. It is a faster way to split wood than certainly the, uh, the homeowner one uh, wedge against a stop special. There's, there's many manufacturers making these. they got different configurations. Uh, some of them will cycle and it will that way the operator just keeps the hands on the wood and flushes it through other ones are, are configured where you have to have the lever pulled the whole time and that's uh could, can be a safety issue but with a careful operator the cycle will get more wood through uh, here's several of the manufacturers that i looked on the internet and pulled this off brute force has got one uh, Wolf Ridge Manufacturing, Wood Miser, Timber Wolf. Uh, these are all machines, and you'll commonly see at the end of the splitting backside of the wedge, you'll see uh, some slots that allow some of the debris, broken wood, slivers, and so forth, fall out to generate some cleaner wood. It's not as efficient as a, as a tumbler would be, but it's fairly compact, and these machines are all portable. They all have a, a hitch. The one on the lower right is, the, I picked the example here, the wood miser has a double uh, cycle here. So you put the piece of wood, it moves to the right, it moves to the left. It, you don't pull the wood back as you would in a single machine. And these would be powered typically by a gas uh, engine. That's the most popular, most common configuration. 
Some of them may have a, a, a um, an electric, but they probably, most of them don't. And you would find in this, in this horsepower class, there's no need to have a diesel. Uh, the, uh, the configuration of the box does change. You, you can get bigger pieces, smaller pieces. Uh, this is really good for making small splits. Uh, it's good for a bundle. It matches up well with bundles, cooking wood. The trend in firewood is smaller pieces of wood, drier pieces of wood have more value than big pieces and wetter pieces. So this is a good machine. If you wanna follow the trend that's, that's going on in the firewood industry, uh, these kind of wedges work well. Cutting tables is kind of new to me. And in looking through what people offered uh, that are manufacturers, the Windy Ridge Company, manufacturing company, makes what they call a cutting table. And on the lower right, you see one that's got a, a, a steel base and a wooden top. And the idea is the skid steer, the front end loader, the grapple, we put several logs on that table and the sawyer there that's making the blocks will will config will do the blocks in this case he's stacking them on the ground and the lifter could lift it up but you could have a a slide it could be metal it could be a piece of plywood with some mic on it to make it slide easier it could even either even be uphill downhill kind of configuration where the first person is concentrated on making the blocks and the second person is, contra is focused on running the split, the wood splitter. Uh, this particular wood splitter looks like a six way wedge, but you can have different configurations, boxes, uh, two way, four way, uh, whatever is, is wanted by the, the, the whole thing of the cutting table is to eliminate that vertical movement, which is extremely tiring and it's extremely wasteful and it adds no value whatsoever. So whenever the first person dumps it on the ground, the second person has to use the hydraulic lifter to pick it up. That splits no new wood. So the cutting table is a great innovation and I'm glad to see Windy Ridge Manufacturing figure it out and make it available. And they make several configurations of this table. Uh, but it's it really needs to match up with what your length of wood is. And doing a splitter, you know, if, if those logs are 8 to 12 feet, that's as long as they need to be. And this is a really good, this is a productive system. This 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 got this two-person team can put out a lot of uh, firewood. And depending on the, the wedges and the log size would determine how they, um, how much re-splitting and so forth is done. But I wanted to bring that in. I want to talk about box wedges. That's a new thing that's not been out that many years. There's a lot of people doing it, and it, it seems to me they're doing a good job with it. And just remember, you can have the single cycle or the double cycle with that. So uh, I wish everyone well. Uh, this, this is a good configuration for arborists that want to get into it. Uh, it could be a stepping stone. It's a good use of... Uh, you're, you're looking at for a basic wood splitter and a table, uh, you're under $20,000 worth of uh, output with a uh, money outlay, but you could really get a lot of firewood out of this in a small local firewood operation. Uh, thank you for attending the National Firewood Workshop 2021, and I'll end this video.